channel. In today's video, I wanted to bring back something I've not done in quite a while, which is makeup. I haven't really done makeup videos on my channel over the past like two years because they don't seem to get as many views, but some people do ask me to do makeup videos, but they just don't get as many views. And I just think, oh, well, then there's no point in filming them, but you know, I just want to make this channel whatever I want to do and whatever I want to film. So here we are filming a video. I am going to be doing a review slash little kind of tutorial using the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. So I'm not entirely sure when the palette was actually released. I think it was, it was definitely before Christmas, but I'm not entirely sure. I saw Nikki do a video discussing the palette and do like a makeup tutorial on it. And if you didn't already know, she's a YouTuber, I'm sure you do just search Nikki tutorials on YouTube and you will know but she did do a collaboration with Beauty Bay and I saw the palette and usually when YouTubers collaborate with certain brands or things I'm not interested unless it's something that they've sort of made themselves for example if it's their own brand and it's like literally like their own products that they are the owner of but when it comes to collaborations with the brands I'm just like oh you know I'm not 100% interested but I was interested in this palette because the price of it I felt was actually really good for what you get. She could have priced this palette so much higher than she actually did because of her name and how much, like, how trusted her word is. And compared to previous products that she's collaborated on with and the prices that they were, I thought that it would be much higher. So the palette, or when I bought it at least, which was in January, the palette was 25 pounds. And I think that is a very, very good price. I have a variety of different eyeshadow palettes at a variety of different price points. So I thought personally that that was a good price for what you get. So this is what it comes in. This is the packaging like when you first get it. So I'm going to do like a little kind of unboxing. Obviously this video is a review but also a tutorial. It's going to be about the quality, the pigmentation, everything like that. I've had this palette for over a month now and I really have gotten to know the shades very well so I can actually give a thorough review. I've done my whole makeup apart from my eyeshadow and my mascara. So because I'm doing my eyeshadow in this video, I'm not going to do my mascara because I'll just I don't know, poke my mascara in my eye. I don't know. I don't do my mascara before my eyeshadow. That's what I mean. But yeah, this is the kind of outer packaging that you get. I am going to chuck this out. That's why I've kept it for this video so that I could film this video and now I can chuck it. It's the pressed pigment palette. I think that's what it's called. And then there's like a little thing on the back that she's written. And then when you get into it, here is the palette. Now I can chuck that out, brilliant. Here is the palette. Now I personally love the look and the aesthetic of this palette. <laughs> Have you seen my nails? Look how long they are. Sorry, side note. Um, I'm very random and waffly today. But yeah, look how long they are. I got these off of Amazon. It was 10 pounds for like 300 nails, different colors. And this is the color I've gone for this week. So I'm loving them. And yeah, they're long. I haven't trimmed them and I'm fine with that. You know, that they've been staying on pretty good. Anyway, stop sidetracking. This is the palette. I like how one side is very colorful, bright, bright pink with loads of like different colors. And then on the other side, it's like a darker kind of color. And yeah. The there's a skeleton's arm with its middle finger up. I like that, that's cool. Um, but yeah, there's a, basically there's a lot going on on the front cover. And then the back, I think it just says exactly the same as what it said on the back of this. Oh, hello. Who are you? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it, ah, that's handy. It explains the shade names and it also tells you what you should use them with. So should you use brush or should you use your finger? I already know that anyway, but it's handy if you didn't. So I've not actually got an eyeshadow palette like this because it opens up like this. Can I do this? Yeah. I've not got something like that. And I really love like this whole vibe. I feel like I've not got enough space on the camera. Um, this side is a normal mirror. So it's just your true face hopefully and then this side is zoomed in i hate zoomed in mirrors they freak me out i literally look in it and i see myself really big and i'm like no thank you don't like that so i never ever ever use zoomed in mirrors um but yeah these are the shades i am gonna do an overlay of the actual palette but this is what it looks like and yeah this side is a lot more colorful as you can see from the like front of it the vibe of it and um, and then this side is more kind of the darker colors i think personally she could have gone a little bit darker with these shades if that was what she was doing i'm not 
not sure if she was going brighter and darker in the actual palette. Um, I think she was, but she could have done a little bit darker. Maybe she could have included like a darker brown or maybe like a black shade, but not every palette can have, you know, really good transition shades and a black shade to kind of deepen up the crease. Like not every palette can have every single shade in there. So I like the variety of these shades first of all. I like how there's loads of colors that I have not personally got in my other eyeshadow palettes. There's, you know, bright greens, there's everything. My initial first impressions when I did first get this palette was I love the colors and the variety that's there. And there's matte shades in here, which you use with a fluffy brush. And there is pressed pigments in terms of like the glittery shimmery shades which best applied with your finger or if you've got long nails like me and you'll just stab the palette then use like a, a brush that's flat and you can dampen it if you want to get extra pigmentation so yeah loads of shades as you can see i have used the pressed pigments quite a lot they're very pigmented loving this palette i've used every single shade over the past month so i feel like i can give a true fair review so yeah, if you did want to get hold of this palette, it is on Beauty Bay. So just thought I'd let you know, just type in Nikki Tutorials and I'm sure it will come up straight away. So in this video, I'm not going to do swatches of the shades because I think they're a little bit pointless. Like they do show pigmentation and they do show like how, you know, strongly pigmented and the brightness of the colour and everything like that when you do a swatch on your arm or whatever. But I don't agree with swatches because the way that a swatch looks on your arm is completely different to how it is applied and how it looks on your face. When you're doing a swatch, you're using your fingers. Not every shade is going to benefit from you using your hands. For example, matte shades are best applied with a fluffy brush and you blend them out nicely. So I'm not going to do swatches, but I am going to talk through each shade. The first shade that we have is this marigold orange shade here, which is called Redemption. And that is a matte shade. I'm reading off the sheet as well. We then have this bubblegum pink shade, which is called Blend and Snap. And that is also a matte shade. We then have the shade Ivy, which is my personal favorite, I think. It's just the one that you can use the most. I might use it today, I'm not sure. And that's an icy white shimmer shade. You can use it with a brush, or most importantly, I think it's best to be used with your finger. We've got this Mulberry Purple shade in the shade Slasher. And this is, again, a matte shade. And then on the end, we've got the shade 5AM, which is a chocolate brown matte shade. I kind of like that name, 5AM. Is that because it's like coffee at 5am i don't know but i like that name um then on the next row we've got roxy catan which is a bright pink shimmer we've then got vla which is this yellow shade it's a bumblebee yellow matte i wouldn't say that's a bumblebee yellow because that is very bright and i haven't seen these very 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 bright like that they're more kind of orange but anyway um then we've got mikai which is the name of her brother if you follow nikki tutorials you'll know that her brother passed away from cancer and he was very young so she named this shade after him and i think that was his favorite color so that's nice that she was able to put that in this palette and on the little thing it just says it's a true red matte then next to it we have Mil is it Mila? I think it's Mila. I'm not sure, but it's a caramel nude matte shade. That's a good transition shade. Then we have this underground shade, which is kind of like a silvery, shimmery shade, but it's kind of like more of a dark sort of one. It kind of reminds me of like metal. I don't know. Anyway, then on the next line, we've got Plot Twist, which is this blue shade. It says it's a periwinkle matte. And then we've got Aura which is this pinky kind of shimmery shade and that's oh it says it's an orange shimmer i've looked at that and i think that looks pink but i suppose it's pinky orange we'll go with pinky orange and then next to that we have basic trut which is kind of a good all over the eye shade and it says it's a pink toned nude matte I don't think that's pink toned i don't know am, am i color blind i think i might be i when i first sort of like over a year ago I was paid by TikTok to make videos and I really wish that I had continued doing it because I think I would have been big on there because I they paid me to make the videos well over a year ago because they wanted to get they wanted to transition TikTok from Musical.ly and they wanted to encourage people to post more makeup videos so they wanted me to make makeup content and they paid me some money to make 
several videos and each video was getting like 10,000 to 200,000 views and I just stopped because I'm not interested in TikTok when it comes to me creating content. You know, maybe I would try and do the odd video here or there, but I just don't enjoy like the whole, it's only kind of 15 seconds thing. I like to sit and chat. That's why I like YouTube so much. So I just didn't post on there. And um, obviously everyone's now blowing up on there and getting loads of views and followers and yeah, that does annoy me. But, but basically getting back to the point of being colorblind, um, I used, I used to post obviously tutorials and I would say that things are certain colours like oh this is a red eye look and people in the comments would be like that's not red that's purple or that's not purple that's red and I'd literally get so many comments that, and I'm like oh my god like that's when I realised that TikTok is just full of people like wanting to be like you know negative which is fair enough like but they made a fair comment but it was just overly negative and i see so much hate on tiktok on other people's videos which is why i think that tiktok's a little bit dodgy when it comes to things like that like the amount of hate that's spread on the app and i just don't necessarily like it i like scrolling through watching people's videos i love that but you don't choose what videos you see and what content you see. For example, on YouTube, you choose the content that you see and, and you can watch positive things if you wanna see positive things. But on TikTok, things will come up on your view page that is just whatever they wanna give you. So it could be things that might upset you or I don't know, sometimes it can be a little bit depressing and I just, sometimes you just wanna switch it off. I've deleted the app several times, but I do actually quite enjoy it sometimes. So anyway. Um, yeah, I just went off on one, but maybe I am colorblind. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I'm saying. Um, just personally, I think there's improvements that TikTok could make to the app in general. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, hang on. Where did we get to? Oh yeah. This shade here, which is very shimmery. This is probably the shimmeriest one in the palette, the glitteriest one. It's called All In and it is, it says it's green duochrome. Is it green? I don't is that green? I'm sorry, am I actually colorblind? Does it reflect green? I'm worried. The shade Ooh is a true green matte shade. That's actually quite a nice shade and it's nicely pigmented. The bottom, we've got the shade Pride, which is a pink duochrome. Yes, that is pink. Tick, tick. Then next to that, this is a good transition shade, is the shade, is it Zuma? I think, Zoma, Zuma. It's a peach pink matte anyway. And then we've got Mama Tutorials, which is Nikki Tutorials' mum. And that's obviously a blue shade. It's a baby blue shimmery shade. And then second to last, we've got the shade Amsterdam, which is a cobalt blue matte shade. That's a really nice one as well. And then finally, Mr. Tutorials, which is her, I think, fiance. I don't think they're married just yet. But yeah, Nikki's fiance. And that is a hazel shimmery shade. So that's all the shades that I've discussed and the names and everything like that. Now we're gonna get on to the actual eyeshadow tutorial part of this video. Also, I think this is a great idea. Sorry, I'm just rambling here. But look at this. I recently purchased another Real Techniques sponge. This is the one. Um, and I re yeah, I purchased, repurchased another one of those and it came with a case to put it in. Isn't that cool? Like you just pop, I wait until it dries and then I pop it in here. I actually put it on the radiator to dry it quickly so that mold doesn't grow. Um, but yeah, you can store it in here and it just stops it from getting, you know, infested with whatever you might sit it on or dust to collect on it. So yeah, I thought that was a really good idea and I just got that off Amazon, so would recommend. Let's zoom you in. Okay, I think we're close enough now. Um, so let's begin. I've got my uh, fluffy brush. This is from... I don't know. I got it from Superdrug and it's not got a name on it. Um, but I'm gonna go in with the shade Basic Trut, which is this one. And I'm just gonna pop that all over my eyelid. But I just realized I need a mirror. And I'm just gonna pop that onto both eyes. Then I'm gonna take the shade, I think Zoma, I'm not sure, this one down here and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. After this eye look, I will give my overall thoughts on quality and pigmentation, but there is fallout of this palette, and she did say herself that there is a bit of fallout, so that's important to remember. But fallout it is not an issue for me when it comes to eyeshadows, as long as the eyeshadows blend. I do tend to do my eyes first, 
before the rest of my makeup just to ensure that the fallout can just be washed uh, wiped away before I do the rest of my makeup however um, I didn't do that today for this video okay um, I think I'm just going to do a look that I know and I've been doing for a while and then in other videos I can do like more you know interesting looks um, so I think I'm going to use the blue one because of my nails I have to use a flat brush um, but I think I'm going to go for like a blue ombre look so I'm going to start off with the shade Ivy which I use a lot and it is a pressed pigment so it would be much better to apply with a finger but I can't because of my nails I'd stab the palette and I'd stab my eyeball and I don't feel like doing that today so you're just kind of pressing it on it is a lot harder to press on with a brush but when you use your finger the pigmentation is super high so I just want to bear that in mind so I always love to do eyeshadow looks where you start off with a really light shade and then you go into like a different colour. Um, so now I'm going to use the shade Mama Tutorials here at the bottom, this blue shade. And this is super pigmented and a lot of fallout for this so I'm probably going to get fallout all over my face. But you know, you only live once. Also I'm not the kind of person that says you only live once, I literally never say that. Even though it's true. <laughs> and then I kind of build it up on the outer corner and I also kind of bring it across to just blend it in with that kind of white shade. So can you see it looks quite, you know, like it blends all nicely together in like an ombre effect. And I'm just doing the same to the other side. I've not got a mirror super close to me, um, my mirror is kind of far away so it's hard for me to see exactly how this looks. But I think I'm finished with that blue. I'm now going to take my fluffy brush, kind of blend that out a little bit. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Plot Twist. And I'm just going to pop that kind of on the outside and around. It doesn't really do a whole bunch. Um, it just kind of, I don't know, just, just, just let me do it, you know? I'm not sure what it does. I'm then gonna go back in with the initial transition shade we used, which was this one down here, Zo Zuma, Zoma, oh my God, I don't know. I hate it when I don't know how to number pronounce something. And then I'm gonna focus that on the outer edge, cause I kind of like the contrast between the blue shade and this kind of, like pinky nude shade. I like that look. Okay, so sometimes I'll leave it here and it's just as simple as that, but I might just go in with a little bit of this brown shade at the top to deepen it up, 5 a.m. Um, I think there's could be other kind of deeper shades in the palette that would be used. So yeah, can you see that's pretty dark and nicely pigmented. I love how these shades blend so nicely together. And look, I've managed to deepen that up compared to this side with just like no effort at all. But yeah, it just adds like a little shadow to the look and a bit more depth. It's a very simple look. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the lower lash line and then we will be done. It would just be a simple look. Again, like I said, I am gonna try and do like a more extravagant look in the future. I kind of wanna follow a tutorial that someone else does and try and do something really cool um, because I'm not, you know, the best, but I'm trying. Um, so yeah, on the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna take this shade at the bottom and pop that underneath my lashes. I'm not bringing any blue on the lower lash line just gonna keep it with that pinky kind of shade build it up a little so that's quite strong so we need mascara um and i'm just gonna leave the lash the lower lash line like that i am going to grab my highlighter palette and i'm just gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyes like this I think I just poked myself in the eye. Uh, my brow bone. 
and I think we're finished. I'm just gonna brush away any fallout. I'm just gonna see if there was any fallout. Oh dear Lord, there was loads <laughs> from that blue shade. This is why I like to do my eyes first because then you're left with blue speckles. It doesn't bother me because I'm not going anywhere and I'm not doing anything, I'm just filming this video. But if I was going somewhere, that looks quite prominent in person. Um, so yeah, um, I would recommend using this palette and doing your eyes first. So I'm gonna apply my mascara and then I will get back to you. This is what the eyes look like when mascara has been applied. So overall, a very kind of straightforward, simple look. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It's just ombre effect with the kind of white shimmery shade at the beginning, going into a bit of a blue. It looks a little bit more pigmented in real life, but you know, you can use these shades. Like this is proof that you can use these shades and it still look kind of subtle in a way. Like that blue in the palette looks really, really kind of scary to some people because it's so shimmery and bright, but it can actually look kind of nice and subtle on the eyes. Um, so yeah, that kind of ombre effect and then like the pink around the outside and below. I just like it. It's nice and simple and it's not, you know, too in your face and I like it. It's nice. So I am, like I said, going to film a different look in another video. So um, stay tuned for that. But now for my final thoughts. So I am now talking about my final thoughts of the palette and my overall opinions. First of all, packaging, love the packaging. It's great quality. Honestly, like it feels nice and heavy. It doesn't necessarily matter what quality the packaging is, but I personally think that this is, you know, nice and, you know, hefty and great quality. And I just know it's just nice to have products that feel luxurious and for 25 pounds winner. Then the actual appearance of the palette, uh, like I said at the beginning, I love the appearance and the look of it in the shades. Pigmentation, very good for every single shade. Every shade is pigmented. Um, all the mattes, everything like that, they blend really nicely, including the shimmers. The pigmentation is great for the shimmers too. Definitely use your finger instead of a brush when it comes to the shimmery kind of pressed pigment shades. And yeah, they can blend them all nicely together. The only slight negatives I would have is that there is fallout, a lot of fallout when it comes to the shimmery shades in particular. I've got a lot of fallout on my face right now, um, which doesn't bother me, but like I said, it's not you know the greatest thing to be doing if you're out and about. So therefore, to avoid that, do your eyes first, and then when you've got fallout on your face, remove that with a wipe or whatever tissue, and then just do your foundation over the top, and it's sorted, and it's not a problem. So that's how to avoid that. And another negative, well, only slight negative, is that obviously this, pa uh, this palette has got like nice transition shades in it, which is great because they're essential for doing any eye look but I could do with a few more darker shades just to deepen up the look the only real kind of darker shade that kind of can go with any look is this kind of brown up here I would like something a little bit more cool toned though like a cool toned brown or a black shade or something um but I understand that not every palette can have everything like that in it when it comes to my favorite shade I think my favorite shade and the one that I use the most is this shimmery shade here because I like to just pop it in the inner corner and then just do an ombre effect with any other color and I really like that look. Um, and then when it comes to the matte shades, I love these two transition-y shades. They're really nice. And I also really like um, this red shade. That red shade does not lose its pigmentation. When it goes onto your eyes, the pigmentation is still there. And a lot of the time when it comes to palettes and things like that, um, with red shades, they can lose their pigmentation quite easily and it can turn kind of pinky, but that doesn't do that. So yeah, I really like that. Very impressed with the palette, 100% worth the money. In fact, I'm gonna give this palette a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because maybe they could have that darker shade. Maybe there couldn't be as much fallout, but I think when it comes to quality eyeshadows, often there is a little bit more fallout because they're so soft and they blend so nicely. So we have to compromise sometimes, but this is my overall review of this palette. I am gonna do reviews of other palettes that I've got in my collection. You know, they don't have to be new palettes. They can be out for years. Is. I just want to film it um so let me know if you want to see any more reviews or anything like that but yeah really love this would highly recommend picking it up um it's great for anybody and it's well worth the money definitely one of my favorite palettes if not my favorite palette so yeah would recommend 
so that is it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe for my for more content on my channel and i will see you um hopefully in my next video goodbye